If you take a look behind me on the board, I've written three equations. There's a video previous to this one where I explain exactly why you're doing what you're doing. But I wanted to put a quick video on here, two or three minutes, that would just show me doing three problems using what I taught in the video that's previous to this one. So hence it says more graphing with y equals mx plus b or slope intercept. So watch the one that teaches the graphing first if you don't know why I'm doing these things. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to graph these three equations. And you have to remember, I'm going to write right underneath it, y equals mx plus b. And I want to make sure it's clear that the slope in this line is 3. And the b value is negative 4. Now, what does that mean? We always deal with the b value first. So I'm going to graph negative 4, because that's my y-intercept. And it's got a slope of 3. Well, if it has a slope of 3, that means 3 over 1. It means the rise is 3 and the run is 1. It means I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and I go over 1. I can go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. <clears throat> and each time I go up and over, I can make a point. And then if I want to complete that graph, I draw the straight line through them, like so. So every single one of those works like that. So let's look at the second one. y equals mx plus b. My m value, you know, that's not very clear, I'm sure, in the video. It should be y equals negative one-third x plus 2. So my m value is negative on this one, and my b value is 2. So I'm going to go to 2 right here. And then sometimes students ask on this negative that's out in front, so I'm going to write negative one-third. I'm going to write the word rise. I'm going to write the word run. Where does the negative go? I usually put it with the top. So if I'm, I'm going to do a little racing here, I'm going to move the negative up. A negative one rise means you go down one and to the right three. So down one, one, two, three to the right. Down one, two, three. You can keep going down and over, down and over, etc., and follow through. Now, there's probably somebody out there wondering, what if I would have put the negative down on the bottom? That'll work also. I'll use a different color here, I'll use the red. That means I have a rise of one, it means I go up one, but my run is negative, so I go to the left three go up one to the left three. And you can see that if I had done that, the line, it helps if I can draw a straight line, will go right through all of those points. Let me make them nice and large here so you can see them all. So you can assign the negative to the top number or to the bottom number, it doesn't matter. The last one here is y equals 2x. And you can, if we were to follow the pattern that I'm using, y equals mx plus b, the m value is 2, and Mr. Trap, we don't have anything for b. If it doesn't exist, what that means is that it must have been 0, because we wouldn't bother writing plus 0. We just let that fall away, don't we? But it is there. So, if the b value is 0, that means that I'm up 0 on my y-axis, means it's the origin. The m value is 2, 2 over 1 for my rise and run, so I go up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1, and then I take it like that. So anyway, there's a few graphs. I hope that helps get you a little bit more repetition. Good luck.